Whoop, whoop. How? How do girls do this? I'm even a girl. Like, I should know how to do this. Hello? Current update. I just survived a tornado. Well, not really. I'm surviving this hair, though. Uh, we just had a tornado. Why do I always, like, get in a stance? I don't know. So, we just had a tornado warning, which is worse than a watch. For all y'all people that don't know, I had a mini argument with my managers because they were trying to tell me that a tornado warning was not as extreme as a tornado watch. No! That is my biggest fear, and I know for certain that tornado warnings are, there's a tornado, like, you need to take shelter. Anyways, at Hooters, let me just paint you a little picture here. I was walking around looking like me at Hooters when everybody's phone sirens were going off. You know the little amber alerts that tell you warning, there's a tornado, tell shelter, tell, take shelter. And all the TVs went out, all the lights went out. And we we're like, what is going on? The sirens were blaring and it was pretty frightening. Not for anybody else, just for me because I'm a baby. Tornadoes are my worst fear, like I said earlier. These clouds are still pretty legit. I think we're actually still under a tornado watch. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that out because I need to know if I'm gonna be scared or not. And so, that's basically what happened. We didn't have power for about an hour. I think the lightning struck our generator because most of the time our generator backs that stuff up. Is it called a generator? Today it is. And then they came back on. The tornado was like, I don't know, a couple miles down. They said that there was like circular motions going on and there was one forming. However, it didn't like all the way go to the ground. Thank the Lord, Payball. I mean, when I'm around people, I'm kind of a badass and I don't get too scared, but I was kind of getting a little bit frightened. Frightened? Frightened? Whatever. Because everybody's phones was saying take shelter and, you know, at Hooters, if you don't know, let me just show you. We are surrounded by windows, people! All the way around us. And, you know, I don't want glass to poke me in my eyeball. There's people walking this way is why I'm semi taming down my excitement. If you know what I'm saying. But anyhow, so hopefully I can post this today, tonight, because in memory of fancy old or in celebration of fancy old national no bra day. Focus, focus. Um, I was just thinking that I could maybe take off my bra for you and just celebrate the rest of the night braless because why not? Okay? So you're going to you're going to see me take off my bra. That's why you clicked on this video, right? Cuz that's what the title says. You're like, "Crystal, we don't care about this stupid freaking tornado. We want to see the braless." It's not going to be pretty, okay? Cuz let me just show you why. Actually, this is gonna be beyond pretty because, well, first of all, I don't know how these girls do it like this. And second of all, it's hot. I think the tornado vibes are still here because I'm getting a little bit overheated. Yeah, this is hard. Here we go, here we go. Now we're, now we're moving around here. We got some things happening going on here. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, jab, oh. See, this is why it's a little bit hard for me, people. Come on now. Do you see this? This, my friends, is a safety pin. And you wanna know why? Because I'm a cheap ass. Yeah, I, I safety pin my stuff together because I just have so much intensity of voluptuousness in this bra. That was sexy too, huh? That, um, how do y'all people do this? Like, I don't even know. Okay, oh, oh, we're getting, we're getting a little dicey here. Somebody pulled up beside me too. That's just lovely. How does this even work? It would probably help if I didn't have five layers of clothing on. You, you win, you win. One of the layers of clothing has to come off. 
really trying to give you what you want here. It's just not working. All right. Yes, I have five shirts on. Okay. Come on. How do people take it off and then their sleeves too? Oh, oh, it's coming. It's coming, people. No bra day is right around the corner. Oh my gosh. I have another safety pin on my shirt. All this safety pin nonsense is tickling my hair to my nose. No wonder. Another safety pin because, you know, my clothes are all falling apart, so we safety pin them back together. <laughs> Another one, here we go. This is just fun. I forgot I had one there too. You know, you just have to do all kinds of nipping and tuckaroos everywhere whenever you are trying to take your bra off, okay? Whoop, whoop, how? How do girls do this? I'm even a girl. Like, I should know how to do this a lot more transitionable. There we go. It's off. Okay? My bra is off. So, for National No Bra Day, you win. You got it off. All right. And now, I don't know if I'm posting this, but I really hope you did something great for your body today. And I really, really hope you at least. I don't know, let them boobies hang for no bra day. And hey, let them hang all the time if you want to. I would if I could. No, I wouldn't. No, nobody would want to see that. Talk to you later. After storm vibes, people. This is what happens after a tornado, apparently. The sun is out. Is it so beautiful? And in case you're wondering, still braless. Yes, indeed, yo. It feels very freeing, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it feels a little naked. I feel like a naked jaybird. Yeah, but you know what? Kinda feels good. <laughs> gonna have so many questions so I'm making a thumbnail because um better lighting yeah that's what we do <laughs> so I apologize for this thumbnail but you know I just want to look braless okay I kind of feel sexy whatever <laughs>